uh, good morning to our uh, BST and three students who are taking up research in tourism. So may I now uh, present to you some of the input for your preparation for uh, the final defense on or before week 12. So it is our hope that uh, you'd be able to finalize with your uh, respective advisors and uh, for section uh, 3C, 3B, and 3A, along with my advices and my other mentee, uh, whom I met last March 18, Friday. So I'm going to share some slides and documents so that uh, we can continue our research and tourism even beyond this semester. So this is for the 70th uh, foundation of our institution by June 21, 2022. And uh, even beyond uh, June, we have uh, some uh, academic activities like uh, the hosting of the UGAT uh, conference sometime in October, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, come up with the conference regarding the 400 years of uh, the foundation of uh, Buak, the civil uh, foundation of the town proper of Buak. So may I share some uh, documents regarding the establishment of MSC University, uh, MSCU. So we are going to draw some uh, similarities to your manuscript and some parts of the research paper. So let me begin with the uh, collections framework for the MSC University Museum. So one possible starting point of establishing a museum is to build up a materials collection. Another option is to begin with the narrative arch, which would tell the story of the place and determine its identity. A museum is quite distinct from a library or an archive as it deals not only with the material objects such as books or records usually in paper, but more importantly, the narrative that can be derived from the artifacts or tangible heritage. In beginning to conceptualize the MSC University Museum, it would be prudent to acknowledge and learn from the previous efforts of collections by previous administrations and regimes from Mr. Andres Malabed to the MSA Research Park by Dr. Romulo Malbar and the time of Governor Carmencita Reyes and the Tamaya Training Center. Until recently, the establishment of the Mimaropa Science Centrum and the initiative of the Graduate Diploma in Cultural Education for Initial Local Cultural Mapping of Sites and Objects in MSC Main Campus. At this point, as expressed in the Land Use Development and Infrastructure Plan, for MSC, how do we begin to recognize and determine the significance of the college's heritage to its public or communities? So precisely the main topic of this abstract or uh, living document is the establishment of a university museum. And that could only be done by beginning to conceptualize and pose some uh, problematic or problematization regarding this topic. And we propose that uh, we begin to recognize and determine the significance of the college's heritage to its public or communities. So the main topic would be uh, the university museum and the subtopics can be uh, the recognition and determination of the significance of the heritage of MSC. And we can also further uh, problematize the role of the public and the communities that MSC serves. So to continue, perhaps to consolidate the narrative of a future Marinduque State University or MARSU, beginning from 2019 onwards, it is necessary to work backwards and have some anchor or reference points from the past reiterations of MSC some such as Marinduque School of Arts and Trades from 1952 to 1983 to Marinduque Institute of Science and Technology from 1983 to 1992. 
with the transition from Marinduque State College from 1992 to 2019. So this part of the living document is the uh, framework on how we're going to periodize the historical uh, narrative of uh, Marinduque State uh, University or the future MARSU. And the data gathering procedure could be as follows. The heritage mapping would consist of archival research from the records and writings about MASAT, MIST, and MSC. The next step would be simultaneously documenting testimonies or interviewing old and retired MS employees who have an institutional memory and obtaining collaterals which have uh, interpretive potential. So during the last management committee meeting, last uh, March uh, 14 and March 21, we already presented this for the perusal and reference of the members of the management committee of the college. And they added that uh, it would be good to include also the, the salient points of the accomplishment of the previous administration, uh, given that uh, we'd be selecting only and uh, provide a criteria on how to go about it. So to continue, as limited it may be, not only resources like time, finances, or special skills, it would be surmised from informal consultation and small talks on the following uh, concerns. So limited storage facility, lack of continuity, uh, changes of administration and priorities, collections management policy, sense of history and historicity, and record sections, frequent transfers. Uh, some of this can be addressed by building the collections from the ground up. Considering the immensity of the deliverables as agreed by the Committee for Historical Collections, uh, such as coffee table book, catalog, microsite, short documentary, heritage tours, and policy recommendations, there is no choice but to continue the previous initiatives and improve on the processes and documentation. So as agreed by the MSC Committee on Historical uh, Collections and Preservation, so we have met a couple of times as well. So last uh, March 18 and uh, March 11. So I think the initial meeting was last uh, March 4. So we prepared the documents uh, regarding the policy framework on uh, collections. So since the collections would be lodged at the MSC Library and Learning Resource Center, the main campus, and it was also agreed by the, upon by, through deliberation by the respective campus directors of MSC Santa Cruz and MSC Torrios and as well as MSC uh, Gasan uh, to also come up with a sort of uh, collections, a mini collections and a mini library that is going to be uh, uh, subsumed in the respective libraries in the other branches of MSC. So to end the, the collections framework, based on the keynote lecture by Dr. Iken Salvador Amores, the curator of the Museo Cabellier at the UP Baguio, it is proposed to adopt the following steps. So recollect the institutional memories from MASAT to MSC, then reconnect this with material objects with high interpretive potential with complete documentation from provenance, rarity, and representativeness, along with the primary criteria for significance, such as social, economic, spiritual, political, aesthetic, or scientific. And finally, to remember from the statements or accounts or stories from the MSCS who served the college from the beginning. It is hoped that with these steps or frameworks for action, we can stimulate several possibilities and scenarios for future thinking and forecasting. So at the moment, there are already narratives available in the MSC uh, official site with the schools and the institutes, which comprises the historical periods from MASAT to MIST to MSC and also uh, to MARSU. So with that, we'll be able to make use of the framework that is being proposed by Dr. Uh, Ikin to recollect, reconnect, and to remember.
So as suggested by the other members of the MSC Committee on Historical Collections and Preservation, so we have to provide some alternatives so that uh, the management committee meeting can take action. So one is just to focus on at least three things. So one is to come up with a historical uh, exhibition. The second one is to come up with a documentary. Uh, and the, the last is to uh, come up with the other policy recommendation after the uh, June 21 uh, celebration of the MSC at 70. So the prioritization is since uh, we have limited time and there's also financial constraints, uh, we are requesting to have a museum staff, at least a couple of. But uh, it was uh, suggested by the president, uh, Dr. Justato Sulueta, just to maximize our expertise from the Institute of Arts and Social Sciences with the team of Dr. Uh, Largado to come up with a team to help uh, search ito with the documentary about the historical periods of uh, Mar S. So that we can uh, imagine it better, it's, bet it's good to share the uh, some slides regarding this. So with the committee of Dr. Lidigario Halos, they came up with the uh, logo and the tagline, Maturity, Service, and Courtesy, MSC at 70. So this is not only for the 70th Foundation, but also for our uh, university. So that's why we are proposing for a collections framework for the University Museum, not only for MSC Museum. So this is the framework that was discussed a bit earlier regarding uh, Dr. Ekin's uh, keynote lecture. Uh, for the 150th uh, commemoration of the martyrdom of Gumbursa. So to recollect, to reconnect, and to remember. So we already have a, a unit of measurement. So we have this historical periods from Masat to MIST to MSC. So there are inclusive dates and years that uh, we would be uh, basing our timelines and our time frame so that uh, we can collect uh, some uh, collaterals or objects or tangible uh, heritage that would have the narrative uh, arch of our MSC mission. So for the first uh, timeline, it's the general timeline where we have the uh, Masat since 1952 and Marinduque Institute of Science and Technology since 1983 and MSC uh, in 1992, as suggested by Dr. Arnold uh, Mullion, the campus director of MSC Turius. Uh, we can benchmark with the DOST, with the FICARD, uh, which uh, includes the, the foundation year of the addition of uh, agriculture and aquatic resources in Picard. So we can follow this and adapt the suggestion of Dr. Arnold. So in Masat, so we have the technical vocational course for two years. So it was uh, initially offered and we have the graduates by 1975 to 1976. And the first uh, industrial education uh, program, which was founded in 1977 before having the flagship program of Masat the BS Industrial Technology. So this took place between 1952 to 1983. So we can anchor this uh, timeline with uh, the programs of BS uh, Industrial Technology such as uh, automotive or garments uh, and other uh, related uh, uh, courses with uh, industrial uh, technology. So next is the MIST. So from 1983 to 1992. So this this uh, period uh, paved way for the establishment of other MSC branches in Torios. That's why we have the College of Agriculture in 1985. 
we also have the the establishment of NSC Santa Cruz from the Marinduque Community College initially in Pagasa in the town proper until it was a uh, switch and transferred to Matalabang where MSC Santa Cruz is located uh, at present. And also we had uh, the establishment of the graduate school. So in 1988, we have the School of Advanced Education before becoming the School of Graduate uh, Education and Professional Studies. So of course, this is also the time when we were able to acquire uh, some land holdings in Gasan. That's why we have the College of Fisheries as well. So by 1992 until 2019, so we have uh, major changes. So I can only uh, talk about the School of Arts and Sciences, uh, which included the, the programs such as ES Political Science, English, Communication Arts, until uh, we were able to come up with new programs such as the Public Administration and the Law Enforcement uh, Administration uh, program, along with the BS Social Work uh, program. So it was all uh, under the, the auspices of the School of Arts and Sciences until it became the School of Liberal Arts until uh, it uh, returned to School of Arts and Sciences. So we have a separate uh, PS Environmental Science and they were able to establish a separate institute for environmental science. And uh, we used to have the entrepreneurship uh, program in SAS, but it was uh, separated and they came up with their own uh, school of business and management where they added other programs such as business administration and uh, BS accounting technology. And uh, most recently from the the offering in Santa Cruz BS Tourism Management was offered in the main campus in Buak. As uh, Dr. Randel uh, Rihinho uh, added with the explanation of the Marinduque Community College along with the diploma in midwifery, so along with the information uh, systems and technology, which is also offered in the main campus, was first offered in uh, Santa Cruz. So at present, so this is the proposed uh, logo by Sir Chito, which features the uh, Mount Malindig and the heart uh, shape uh, of flames, which uh, symbolize the uh, branches of MSC. So which the gears uh, form from, from the previous uh, reiteration of uh, Masat uh, of MIST and MSC and the Baybayan character for Hiraya or imagination. So from one college, it was uh, transformed into four colleges. So the College of Education, Arts and Social Sciences, College of uh, Engineering, uh, Industrial Information uh, Technology, the College of Natural uh, and Agriculture Health uh, Sciences, which assume the agriculture, fisheries, and environmental science along with the allied medicine. And finally, the College of Accountancy, Business, and Governance, which uh, included the Institute of Accountancy, Business, and uh, Tourism, along with the Institute of uh, Governance and Public Administration. So in effect from 2022 this year to 3030 to 31 so we already have the land uh, utilization development uh, investment uh, program or plan but we have uh, the following concerns so still even it's going to be divided with the academic uh, core with the research core with the administration and the auxiliary core so we have to find a good location for the university museum, which would uh, deal with the concerns such as uh, storage facility, lack of continuity, change of admin, and uh, lack of collections management policy, uh, the sense of 
history and historicity and of course the frequent transfer of the records uh, section. So the outcomes or the expected uh, output for uh, the MS University Museum are as follows. So we are aiming to come up with a coffee table book with a 20 minute uh, documentary and also a policy for policy uh, for uh, collections uh, collections management uh, for policy recommendations. So if not in the immediate future, we will not be able to come up with a coffee table book. At least we'll be able to come up with the exhibit along with the catalog and the microsite. So in complement to the documentary, we'd like to organize also a heritage tour in the main campus and also in the other campuses as well. So the process that the museum staff would follow is to uh, determine the significance and evaluate or assess the previous uh, attempts at collecting. So Dr. Malbar already did this part and uh, from the time of Mr. Malabed and before having the uh, uh, science centrum, we already have the research part. And uh, from the time of the uh, provincial governor and representative Carmen Cita Reyes, we already have a collection at the Tamaya Training Center, which was transferred to MSC Torrios. So of course, this would only come to fruition and uh, materialization, not if uh, we don't recognize uh, the efforts of Congressman Pampilo Manguera and of course, our House Speaker, Lord Allen. Velasco for coming up with the legislative measure and creating uh, MASAT and also MARSU respectively. So for the futures thinking and the heritage mapping, this would guide the, uh, the data gathering and the interpretation of our uh, data that we'll be, we'll be able to collect from the period of MASAT from 1952 to 1983. Uh, from the period of MIST from 1983 to 1992, and from uh, MSC from 1992 to 2019. And if time permits, we'll be able to incorporate uh, SU as well from 2019 to the present. So with the archival materials, with the uh, tangible heritage, and also the stories uh, provided by our uh, MSCNs, we'd be able to come up with forecasting and futures thinking of what the MSC University collection would become. So through the heritage mapping, we'd be able to locate the existing uh, heritage buildings or heritage sites or heritage uh, uh, objects within the main campus and also the other branches. So with that, we are hoping that the museum staff that uh, will be able to be provided would be uh, able to execute the plans that the MSC uh, historical uh, collection and uh, preservation committee has uh, set forth with the guidance of the management uh, committee. So one particular uh, material that we were able to collect from the series of meeting from March 4 to March uh, 18 is the files that is already available at the MSC website. So this is the tentative timeline and using the framework of recollect, remember, and Reconnect. So we able to come up with the salient points during the periods of MASAT, of MIST, also MSC and MARSC. So there are already write-ups regarding the respective schools and we try to just uh, call out the more salient and important uh, details. So from the School of Education, Industrial 
uh, technology from the School of Agriculture and uh, Fisheries and also the Allied Medicine, which used to uh, be offered or the diploma in midwifery at the Matalaba campus in Santa Cruz. And also we need to add the MSA Examural Study Center at uh, Barangay Kapayan uh, the last uh, three years or so, which was provided with the Consolidated Mines Incorporated. So moreover, so the draft of the uh, the living documents that uh, we showed earlier. So there's a timeline. So we already have the first uh, three weeks, so until week uh, week sixteen. So it's like a one term in a tri semester. Uh, uh, timeline for any academic institution. So if we have a museum staff, so we'd be able to help out with the establishment of the timeline of MASAT and the uh, salient points of this period, the garments, automotive and drafting and the uh, documentation of MASAT uh, graduates when we conduct interviews, we, which we would uh, uh, delegate to the team of Dr. Largado and we will move to the other uh, campuses, particularly in uh, Gasan and Santa Cruz with the uh, ceramics, uh, food technology, uh, and the uh, writing of the object description, MIST, and also the particular flagship programs of uh, science and technology. And by May, We'd be able to host uh, the visit of the DOST secretary and hopefully the opening of the science center would also be part of this uh, timeline and we would involve the exam neural study center and the other uh, campuses so we would uh, feature the uh, flagship program like breadfruit markaduke bioethanol and others and uh, we'd also like to build the collection of the other branches in Santa Cruz and Torrios Gasan and also in Mugpug, which houses the Book Nook uh, program, which was launched last uh, uh, November of uh, 2021. So by June, we hope to launch the microsite and uh, show the video snippets. And uh, by then, we'd be able to train our tourism uh, management students to have the walking tour and also a uh, circuit or the loop with the other campuses as well. So by June 17, just before uh, June 21, we'd be able to launch the coffee table and have a talk and exhibit regarding the MSC loop or circuit uh, featuring the heritage site, the heritage uh, uh, buildings and heritage objects of the college. So finally, this is the input of uh, Sir Randall. So we're hoping that would be able to also enlist the help of Dr. Joy and Dr. Homer with the other write-ups. So we are looking for similar history of the campus. This is regarding the uh, beginnings of MSC Santa Cruz. So this is where we can find uh, the highlight. So during the, uh, shortly after the discussion meeting, the Sangguniang Bayan convened to formally ask that then Minister uh, Juan Manuel of the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports through resolution number eight and dated February 22, 1977 to issue the corresponding permit to operate a community college in Santa Cruz Marinduque. So this is very uh, historical. And fortunately, to continue, Mr. Minister Manuel paid Marinduque uh, sentimental visit having earlier served in the province on his arrival at Santa Cruz early in March of the same year, Mayor Morales handed to him before 
addressing the welcoming crowd, the council resolution, Mr. Manuel acted favorably on the request upon his return to Manila and on March uh, 29, 1977, issued the Matsuot permit. So this is the beginning of the Marinduque Community College, which would which would become uh, MSC Santa Cruz eventually. So this is the composition of the Board of Trustees and this is the composition of uh, the Sangguniad Bayan, headed by uh, Mayor Morales. So this is very important and we hope that we'll be able to trace the other documents through archival research and we'll be able to interview some of the prime movers of this uh, historical event in our uh, college. And hopefully, our students would have a sense of ownership when we have visitors, they would be able to uh, tour our visitors from the MSc collections at the library to the science center room at the research park. And also along the way, we'd be able to find the heritage sites, the heritage buildings, and the heritage object along the main uh, campus. And likewise, in the other campuses as well. So when we move to MSC Gasan or to MSC Santa Cruz or to MSC Torrios and also to M at MSC uh, Extramural uh, Study Center at Mugru. So with that, I hope that the students from uh, tourism management would find the full fruition and uh, the ideas becoming material with their uh, thesis topics in uh, tourism and how to revive or how to recover from the uh, pandemic. So I hope the MSC University Museum would be a pedagogical tool and our collection would be uh, more than a didactic uh, collection. So it would be more dynamic and a site of creative tourism not only for uh, the people of Mariduque, but also to our uh, neighbors and our visitors from within the Philippine borders and even uh, beyond.